in the, in the last kind of year or so, they've realised that they perhaps didn't do enough with the users that they did have. Yeah. What do you think of it? I've lost faith in it, to be honest. Okay. Yeah, I've moved back to YouTube, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a big YouTuber. What makes you lose faith in it? Yeah. Customer support, I'd say. Yeah. Lack of it. Yeah. Really yeah. bad lack of it. Yeah. No. So, I agree with you. Um, so we're trying to do a lot at the moment. I'll, I'll give you my turn. Take my TikTok hat off. I'll give you my turn on it. I think the company was built really, really quickly. The success was overnight, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we're like the kid pop stars who get success overnight and then they crash and burn. I'm not better porch. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. She, that yeah. was a great platform yeah. for her. And I'm not saying that, that they're going to crash and burn. I don't think that at all. But I certainly think that in the last kind of year or so, they've realised that they perhaps didn't do enough with the users that they did have. Yeah. And I think it's going to be a positive change because for me working there, I mean, they were in we work in London up until at the end of last year. So you're talking about one of the biggest applications on the App Store with the highest daily active users. And in the UK, they just had a WeWork that's a quarter of the size of this yeah. room. It's too much to deal with, I understand. Sense, yeah, yeah, right? yeah. So now they've bought a whole new office, they're going to buy another new office. Big thing on customer experience, huge thing on customer experience. Um, I think the people weren't in place to the people weren't in place to deal with what they what came out the market of having millions of users a day. They just weren't ready for it, um, especially in the uh, especially in the, uh, the pandemic. No, I think that helped for me. That's why I used it during the pandemic. Yeah. I got onto it. It was fun. Uh, but then I just saw like the lives, for example. It's just more not being able beggars yeah, yeah, on their lives yeah, yeah. nowadays. I did not know. But the thing is, you can, I'm not selling the world at all. So like on the live, this is the live here, you can say you're not interested and then it's not going to show you that again. Yeah. So you kind of, it, 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 it's making the customer do the algorithm work for them. No, the algorithm is fine, but you can, for us it's just when you're going through it or you can just see like... I don't want to see oh. lives and then I don't want to see the, the same advert and, and all that sort of stuff, yeah. And they're moving away from the adverts actually and more into the e-commerce side of things. So, so I know the shops are a big side for it as TikTok well. Shop, yeah. yeah. It's crazy to go shop because they're finding that they're making they're making millionaires overnight out of something so simple. Like there was a young chap two weeks ago who he went viral last year creating a um, like a sustainable clothing brand, and then now last week or the week before he's been putting Harrods on a kind of concession. Yeah. So it's got okay, that's good. All because it went viral on on, on TikTok, um, and then you can watch because that's what I was thinking about because I've noticed like the, the toilet paper for example yeah everyone buys that someone said to me the other day like 60 rolls for a, a cheap amount then see that's the thing my company because I'm making this well we can do the same amount for 13 quid <laughs> But then we're looking, because we're seeing that, we, like, we go on there, look at the algorithm, see how much people buy in it, going through the shops and things like that, which goes through. Yeah. Sorry. It's funny, we're at a tech event, but the Wi-Fi is so bad. <laughs> Everyone's on it. Everyone, oh, yeah. That's Everyone's on it. But how, how is the customer service experience going to change for the user? They're going to grow out the customer experience team. Yep. So that is the biggest thing. And genuine, I know it's almost like a cop-out answer, but I think the reason why the customer experience is so bad is because they didn't have any customer no, experience. No, no. And yeah, it. and the thing is, when you look on like, your Twitter feed, your Instagram feed, you look at your comments and you're like, well. <laughs> exactly. And I used to work for Virgin Media. It's the same thing. Like, look at Twitter or Virgin Media. Um, uh, it's horrendous. Mm. Why is that down blah, blah, blah? I think the same thing for them. They didn't have the customer experience. But they're building everything out now with that kind of foundation in place. It was basically an overnight star, right? TikTok was an overnight star. Um, think about Meta, think about Instagram, right? They've gone from call centers to um, 
like AI generated chatbots yeah. and then even to yeah I hate them but then even to completely automated all you can do now is just submit a ticket like something's not working my account's been hacked you submit a ticket right TikTok haven't even got to the first stage of having the customer services yeah. you pick up the phone they haven't got there yet like I, I understand why you wouldn't have a phone because yeah. I can imagine oh, yeah. you would get you would inundated with yeah. everything yeah. and a lot of people do show vulgar on there and I reckon they'll be the ones bringing up and playing in and yeah. you, know, I, I, you know what I fully understand it so I'm taking yeah. off for a sec oh <laughs> it's been wearing it all day like you see UK TikTok everyone knows him don't yeah. they I reckon he'd be on your phone every single day he would be we actually had this is silly but we, we have people sometimes come and try and find the offices in, and turn up because their account's been banned like, so I think it would go crazy um, I'm surprised you've not had a lot today down there about accounts yeah no and they, yesterday there was nothing um, there was nothing at all it's quite good reception to be honest with you um, but yeah so this is TikTok shop yeah. so that's why we are um it's quite sick. So we have a, a team, AI team in the UK, we have one out in San Jose, we have one out in Beijing, we have one in, in Singapore, and they're kind of split. Um, so UK TikTok runs a little different to the other ones. We've got US TikTok, which runs completely different. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. No, it's good. I do miss it. Yeah. Well, I just, do you know what I've done with mine? Is I've just completely catered it to 100% me. Like, like, so even if there was something like this, which is no harm for me, I'm just going to do it. Do you just watch what do you post? Uh, so I actually posted one video when I uh, when it first started of when I proposed to my wife um, and it went viral and got 5 million views oh, and I got 10,000 followers from it and then I privatised my account and left it and now uh, they haven't posted again. No. <laughs> it's quite, the, the, the algorithm is so powerful. We were just talking to someone else downstairs and we were saying that we're not. the reason why these companies want to work for us and we don't have the infrastructure for them like Prada and and, 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 and Burberry and all these big brands want to come and advertise on the platform is because they know it can reach millions yeah, of people, yeah. which is more than a TV advert, right? You can you can twenty million people. Um, and plus people can comment and get yeah. feedback on it and that's a good mo- that's the best tool for me that is you know you can just read what people think because yeah. I like it when you get any mail or newspaper mail online I don't yeah. read the story I'll, I'll glance at it yeah. comment because yeah, yeah, yeah. that's where you get the meat of everything yeah. but it's the same with it's, it's part of the reason why I probably don't post myself is because you do have the ability even with zero followers you have the ability to go completely viral well, yeah I know what you mean what I've won I've done I think I've had one I've done 1.6 million one I've done 50 15 million. Yeah. So it went really well, but yeah. then I say the customer experience just went for me, and I was yeah. like, I don't want to do it. Yeah. So I just went back to YouTube, which was more fun for me, because yeah. I say, yeah. yeah. You have I do like laugh. YouTube. I think sure. I like longer form video anyway. Yeah. But TikTok is one of those things that now I. Because I, I used to work for Facebook, and specifically Instagram. One of the um, one of the things I don't like about Instagram is all those adverts. All the scrolling, ad, 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 ad. And also, sometimes it's nice to see my friends' stuff that they're doing. Sometimes I don't want to see it. So uh, then go on TikTok, and it's a, it's a different story. No, no, no. Thank you. Pass it a lot. <laughs> yeah. No, it's good to see you here, though. Yeah. Definitely. And you. Oh, looks like too much stuff going on. I live in my bag. <laughs> One other question though. Regarding band accounts, do they ever come back? I think there's a um, there's a uh, what's the word? Um, there's like a period, uh, consultation period, or like a, um, you can fight against it. Yeah. But I think I don't know. I think once it's gone, it's gone. Yeah. yeah. We're finding that a lot with, yeah. so, that's what happened to one of my accounts, it went, uh, and there was no explanation for it, it just yeah. wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> and no, you, do pre- you do the pre- uh, proceed progress, but it's just a vicious circle, it doesn't yeah. help you at all. I think there is quite a strong ban hammer if when it comes to some of the accounts and I I, I say the same about Facebook I, I, I know people that I was posting on Facebook I was working at Facebook and posting on Facebook on behalf of a dogs charity in Serbia that rescued dogs and they banned me on Facebook well I worked for Facebook at the time and I tried to do the appeal process and I'm sure it's the same thing that you've experienced with TikTok I tried to do the appeal process and they were like no no because it's come up as this it's come up mm. as this and apparently it was um, 
because the fact that we put like a PayPal link to, uh, yeah, you could go fund me or you could PayPal link to it. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm saving dogs here, stray dogs. I don't care that there's a PayPal link in there. No, banned. No. And they were banned on Facebook. Exactly, exactly. And I was like, alright. Yeah. Oh, so I work on Facebook, but I can't have Facebook. No, no. Now. <laughs> See, chemicals is my main passion in life, yeah. but my other one's martial arts, and I've lucky enough been representing the country, all yeah. around the world. And yeah. So I posted about, you know, the fake stuff. Yeah. People like using no touch knockouts or I can throw a hat at you and it knocks you out. But it was funny because we've done the test to see how your advertising works. So we posted one uh, saying the fence gets a guy sitting in a chair with no S. It went through, it got banned straight away. We appealed it and it came back. So we noticed the S was wrong. So we took it down, put a S at the end of chairs, posted it again, got banned. We appealed it and it got flags as not being restored for harassment and bullying. Just because a guy throwing sake as a hat. <laughs> Uh, also what I've done is I went undercover to a dojo to find the fake ones and we called the guy out he didn't know martial arts and everything like that and that got done for bullying and harassment that's because they reported it mm. so yeah, it's interesting it's, uh, I, I, I think any company is going to find it hard to manage this many users yeah, exactly. and to please everyone yeah especially with some of the well, there's a whole nudity thing on there like if you put like a leather a leather couch on 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 there like a cream leather couch should we say um there's been stories of them not on tiktok but on instagram they're getting flagged for nudity and getting pulled down because it's showing too much skin it thinks it's showing it's, too much it's skin. the algorithm you can't pick it up what it is ai is not good enough but we've seen guys exactly doing that you see we saw this one recently go up skirt yeah. and up that and she had like half a million views on it and like loads of things it was like bats definitely pushing the line where you can see camel toe <laughs> For the joys of it. Well, thank you very much, anyway, buddy. Have a good day. I'll speak to you later on.